Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing really well. If there is a plant which is quite difficult to satisfy, then it must be the Calathea. Out of many plants which I have grown so far, this is the plant that troubled me the most. And in today's video, I am going to discuss about the most easiest way to revive a dying Calathea plant. In most cases, Calathea doesn't do well because of bad soil mix and for wrong environment. They are quite sensitive plant. As you can see on this footage, the health of the plant is really bad and very sad to say that leaves are drying out just one by one. If you have grown Calathea, I am sure that you have seen similar symptoms. So the simple thing that I am going to do is using a new potting soil mix. I tried many different ways to prepare the soil mix and finally I found a good one that works well in my environment. I am taking only two components, 80% sand and rest 20% vermicompost. Let's take out the plant from the pot and get rid of all the old soil. Look like the nursery people have used clay type soil, which is big no-no for Calathea. They need constant moist soil, but soil should not hold the water for much longer time. Clay soil is not ideal as it does opposite thing. In case you did not know, they also produce tuber like things. If tubers are not already rotten, means we have a good news and there is a great chance that our plant is going to survive. Let's report the plant quickly using a 6 inch wider and 6 inch deeper pot which is sufficient for one plant. Sprinkling water on the leaves just to make them clean. After that, I am going to keep the plant in indirect sunlight and let's wait for the update. So guys, it's the result after 90 days. This is something which I was really expecting. As you can see, the plant is growing quite well and I am so much happy with the result. Please note, just for recording this clip, I am keeping this plant in direct sunlight. For that, already sprayed water on the leaves so that the direct sunlight doesn't burn them. Please also feel free to mist your plants on a regular basis. They love it and it also keeps the leaves much cleaner. Though the plant is looking happy, not all leaves are 100% okay. For example, here you can see one leaf with brown edges. Well, I would just pass it. Overall, the plant is looking good and that is more than enough for me. Here is one of my other happy Calathea plant again. Am I doing anything else? Yes, and have been applying fertilizers once in 20 to 25 days. For that, taking half teaspoon NPK 191919 in 1 liter water and then applying directly in the soil. Daily watering is also needed as we are using mostly sand. But still, please be careful in winter. We all do mistakes or sometimes it's the environment that troubles our plant. But it really feels great whenever we are able to save a dying plant. I hope you are agree with me. I believe you would also love to know about the things I did to save my dying oxalis. If I am not wrong, please feel free to check out my next video and find out more info. So that's a happy ending and I believe you found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching, take care and enjoy.